Now we're going to add the brown ones to complete our copy of this. So this has the orange ones all laid out, but it also has brown ones every once in a while. And the brown ones are attached to, uh, on the previous row, they're attached to a green one. And what's significant about that is that the green one is itself attached to two yellows. This might be kind of hard to see, but the brown one is attached to a green one, and only a green one. It's just attached to one. It's attached to the green one. And that green one is attached to two yellows. That is probably the hardest part to see, but it's attached to two yellows, and that's it. Well, yeah. It's attached to, uh, on, on the innermost row, it's attached to two of the yellow ones. As opposed to the blue ones, the blue ones are only attached to one of the yellow ones. Alright, so I'm going to add this brown one to this, uh, and I'm going to pick a green one. So, like this one right here, I'm going to take two oranges and pull them apart, and then add this brown one in between where I pull them apart to the green one, like that, there, so pull them apart, there's the green one, <laughs> add the brown one to just the green one in between the two oranges, and then close it up. The first brown one that I add, I could add it to any of the green ones, but then the rest of the brown ones that I add they're, it's important where they are in relation to the to each other. So this first one I could put on any of the green ones. The next three I'm going to put in a specific place. So I'm going to count out four of these oranges. And then between the fourth and fifth orange, I will pull the fourth and fifth. So this is the fourth orange away from the brown one. So let's see. Brown, one, two, three three, four oranges away. And now I have uh, the fourth and fifth one, fourth one in my right hand, fifth one in my left hand, pull them apart, and this green one pops up. And that's a good sign. Um, if I counted wrong, I would maybe have a blue one, but I instead have this green one. So on that green one, I'm going to put the next brown one, and that's how I'm gonna add all of the brown ones. I'm gonna count out four, four more oranges. So here's a brown one. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four orange between the fourth and fifth. There's another green one. I'm going to take a brown one and put it into that green one in between the two oranges. And then I'm going to close it up. And now we're down to the last one. Take this brown one Count out four oranges, one, two, three, four. Pull the fourth and fifth apart, and then there's that green one there. I'm gonna add this brown one to that green one, like so, and then close it up. And now I have this, which looks just like this one. The row that we just made has 20 rings on it. There's 16 orange and then four brown, and they're kind of hidden in there, but that one should come out. There we go. <laughs> anyway, there. These two match each other now. Yay! That's good.